while there are still a few blooms left on some of my outdoor chrysanthemums it's the time to be hard sacrifice what there is I mean it's remarkable that these have stood two or three degrees of frost but they have uh, and now is the time to think about next year and so plants need to be lifted just like this one with all the messy stuff on the top and what we're doing is trying to save stools that's what is the uh, name for this root end of the chrysanthemums the plants that I grew in the garden I had in uh, 11 centimetre pots before I planted them and so when they came up they came up with a pretty good uh, root ball but now I need to cut off all of that top and get rid of that and this is what we want to take off every old bit of dead leaf and then it goes into a tray you can get these from farm shops and from the greengrocers mushrooms often come in them and that's tucked in there and a bit of old potting compost just tucked in around the root let's do one or two more this one here if I leave two or three inches of stump that can be useful and I'll show you why in just a moment take off every bit of old dead leaf already there's one or two of the first signs of cuttings and then that one goes in there, a bit more compost around it. Now another one. Here I've got a bit of young growth, that needs cutting fairly well back. And then back to there. Clean that up again, and in that goes. So with a bit of luck, I'll get at least 12 different chrysanthemum stools in a tray like this. And don't forget to label them. Now I mentioned leaving a bit of long stalk, and it's quite a good idea to actually tie the label with a bit of plastic or a soft twine and hold that in place. Uh, you, you can obviously just stick it in the compost as we normally would. And when these start to produce cuttings, you can tell which one is which by just wiggling that stem and, and you'll see uh, the shoots that are connected to it move, whereas the next one doesn't. Now once the tray is full, that can go into a cold frame cold greenhouse if you don't have any of those then really close up to the house wall where it's a bit, bit protected through the winter and uh, we'll have uh, quite a forest of cuttings with a bit of luck come next uh, February March when we can take cuttings.